Siki. Shandina Makaya Siki. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Pastor Joe Marie, please stand up. Shandina Makaya Sika, we are going to honor our MC for Thank you, Lord. Someone has to write his prophetic word in order that you know he can revisit it. And the Lord is saying to you today, my son, you are misunderstood. But it, it is okay, I totally understand you. You are going to stand before lions and their mouths are open to eat you anytime. But I am the Lord your God and will preserve you from their mouths. I am going to give you a weapon of war that no matter how much they chew you, they could not chew you. <laughs> I, the Lord your God, is going to preserve you and protect you from their bites. Oh, you are going to discover that there are people that label themselves as friends, but they are not really your friends. And I am warning you beforehand. I am going to reveal their names to you. You will easily discern them. This is your season of Wapane. Oh, I am going to surround you with godly men and women who are really concerned about you, who are protective about you, who enter seat for you, who is after in building you up, in strengthening you. I am going to remove from your life those people that tear you down, that accuse you, or gossip you, or backbite you. And the Lord is saying, this is a season of recovery. What other man at your age is thinking of dying or retiring? I, the Lord, is going to bless you and inspire you. You are going to see your best years, 10 years from now. You are going to run with the horses, faster than the horses, stronger than the horses. There is a supernatural strength that I am going to give to you. And you will see it when you stand before my people to speak. You will be amazed of the strength that is coming out supernatural stamina is being given to you today. That says the Lord. Hallelujah. Shana Bagaya Siki. Shana Bagaya Siki. Shana Bagaya Siki. Shana Bagaya Sika. Shandina Bagaya Sika. I am hearing in my spirit someone is trying to build a church. Is that you? Stand up. Someone is trying to build a church building. If that is you, stand up. I'm hearing it in my spirit. Stand up. Okay, how many do we have here? One, two. Okay, stand up, stand up. Maybe there's more. You are trying to build a church building. This word is for all of you. Shana Magaya Sikata. Ramagaya Sikata. The Lord is saying to you, sometimes you feel there is a wall in front of you. Sometimes you feel like no matter how much you enter sin, you could not get through. But I, the Lord, is saying to you right now, I'm blowing my wind against the wall. And I declare today, the wall is wobbling. The wall is wobbling. And I'm blowing the wind again for the foundation of the wall of resistance to collapse. And the Lord is saying to you today, my sons and my daughter, raise your hope high. The blessing is not far from you. It is going to chase you. Yes. I am going to allow you to meet people that you do not know. Yes. They don't know you as well. But there is a divine connection. I am going to create an alignment of interest, alignment of passion, and alignment of ministry. You will be surprised with the people that you will, you will meet in the next coming days, weeks, and months. Do not be surprised. I have told you about this now because I am going to use networks, new relationships to bring forth the fulfillment that your church building will rise from the dirt. The roof is coming. The steel is coming. The plywoods are coming. The carpenters are coming. The engineer is coming. The architect is coming. The money to purchase and pay them is coming. And the Lord is saying, just believe I will take care of the rest. I am raising you up to become a testimony because I want to show off to the world this is what will happen to those who believe in my name. That is the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, Ramagaya Sika. Ramagaya Sika. Shana Magaya Sika. Shana Magaya Sika. Shana Magaya Sita, the devil is alive. The enemy wants you to believe that it could not be done. It will be done. Amen. I prophesied to a young lady who just finished fashion designing.
from New York Special Institute of Technology. She's not a believer. Her body is full of tattoo. You will be surprised that God can prophesy to an unbeliever who is full of tattoo. And I told her, within the next two years, the Lord is going to give you high profile clients. They will seek you. You will design clothes for them. That was September 2012. March 2013. I got a text. The first client, the rocker, Madonna. Do you know Madonna? Oh my God. That's the Lord. People, information is not prophecy. Information is not prophecy. Prophecy is birth from the Spirit of God manifesting in a form of revelation. Ephesians 1.17 The Spirit of Wisdom and the Spirit of Revelation will help us get to know God better. You know, I can see this in my spirit. I can see this in my spirit. What is coming to the Philippines? The concept of prophetic is going to change. Information is not prophesying. If you get the information to a newspaper, don't label it as prophesying. That's misleading. Shana Magaya Sika. Prophetic people, you don't prophesy from your mouth. Prophesying is in the spirit. Because if you prophesy from your mind, it will drain those who listen to you. And it's okay if those who are listening to you are not informed about the prophetic movement. Because if they are, you will be exposed. Sharabagaya Sikata. Shana Magaya Sika, do you want more of this? Amen. Hallelujah. Me too. <laughs> Glory to God. Shana Magaya Sika, Rabagaya Sike. Shande Namagaya Sika, Rabagaya Sika. Shana Magaya Sike, Rabagaya Sike. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Shana Magaya Sika, come on, stand up. You. No, no, you. Yes, you, little girl. I think she emailed me one day. She said, Prophetess, can you prophesy to me? I said, in one of the conferences, I will do it. And then someone, sometimes people would email me, Prophetess, can you prophesy to me? I want to be rich. Thank you for the suggestion, but I am not a fortune teller. <laughs> you will get what God will give to you. Sharabagaya Sika. I got a lot of that. I want to be rich. Can you prophesy to me? It's like to, to suggest you please prophesy to me about money. No. God will release it to whomever He wants to release it. But this is what the Lord is saying to you. You are going to grow up as a very beautiful person. The person that you see now in front of the mirror is not what will become 10 years from now. You will be so beautiful that the dignified beauty of God will come on you. You will be one of those many faces in the city of Iloilo that will have a revelation of the glory of God when it comes to beauty. And the Lord is going to, the Lord is going to bring you to a place of understanding beauty from glory because of the depth of healing that you are going to receive. And the Lord is saying, my daughter, your broken heart that was shattered into pieces, I am going to bring them back together. I can see a family that is fragmented. I can see a family that is broken. But the Lord is saying, I am going to bring your family together. Whenever there was a time of separation, I am going to heal them. And the Lord is saying, I'm going to bind them like a glue. There is the wind of the Spirit right now making those steps for your family to become whole. 
and I'm speaking today, the warfare in the house will cease. And the Lord is saying, I am releasing peace. Dwell in the peace. And my daughter, once you have an understanding of peace, live in that place. Do not go back to the chaos. Stay in the place of peace. Because in a place, you will know it, that I am consistent. I am going to fulfill what I am telling you that I am going to fulfill. I am going to open the eyes of your spirits that you are going to possess a discernment to identify that those boys that are approaching you, you will know who is bad or evil. And you will know who is the one that are sincere. I'm, give, I'm going to give you the discernment as the Lord. And that you are going to stay away from those that you can discern that is bad. Because there is something inside of you, a knower inside your spirit that says, stay away from that one. That's the voice of my spirit in you. You will be different from your parents. You will become an envy to your generation. And the Lord is saying, I'm going to do this phenomenally and spectacularly. Your mind has not yet conceptualized this. You don't even have an idea on what it will be. My daughter, I am full of surprises. And tap them each day. That says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know those like, yes, Lord, prophesy to me. Not to me, Lord, not to me. I can see those too. And I can't pick it up too. I'm not going to give it to you if you don't want it. You know what? You don't throw what is precious to the pigs. I'll take it with me. I'll bring it with me in New York. Oh, my Lord. Shira Bagaya CK. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to call out a gentleman from Cebu. Dr. Butch, please stand up. He is our host uh, 18 months ago in Cebu. He's here. Thank you very much for coming. Praise the Lord. You know, it's amazing. All our previous hosts were here today. Pastor Leon is here. Where are you? Our one of our hosts in Hong Kong. Praise God. Thank you for the support for coming over. Hallelujah, praise God. What a blessing it is. Praise the Lord. And to our future hosts in some parts of the Philippines, thank you so much. Please stand. Shara Bagaya Sika, Rabagaya Siki. Shande Amagaya Siki, Rabagaya Sika. Shande Amagaya Siki, Rabagaya Sika. Shara Bagaya Sika, Rabagaya Sika. Shande Namagaputo, Rabagaya Siki. Shana Magaya Sika, Rabagaya Siki. Shande Namagaya Sika, Rabagaya Sika. This is not a personal word. God is going to give you a word for your city. Shana Magaya Sika. The Lord is saying, young man, I am upset with all the idols littering in your city. They are a stitch in my nose. I am going to raise you up and I am going to put a fire in your bones that you are going to carry a message that every time you speak, idols in the heart of men and in their minds will start to crumble. I, the Lord your God, is going to raise up other men like you in that city and in that region and you are going to come together for the purpose of destroying the idols in the land. The day is coming that I am not going to allow my people to tolerate these idols. I am going to give you nights that you will not sleep because you are going to pray to me, that says the Lord. You are going to intercede to those that are bound in the spirit of idolatry. And the Lord is saying to you today, do not be afraid of the intimidation of those people that are guarding those idols in the high places. Do not be afraid of their influence. Do not be afraid of their money. Do not be afraid of their persecution. Look up to me. Because as you continue to trust in me, I am going to give you weapons of war that you do not know. I am going to prepare your faith to engage the spirit realm in 
the level that you have not encountered in the past. I, the Lord your God, is going to give you a voice in your city. You have been complaining in all these years. Lord, I need to be heard. I am going to give you people that will listen to you. I am going to give you a network that will listen to you. I am going to surround you with men and women of God. People of the fivefold ministry gifts that will listen to your voice. You are no longer going to come back to me and say, Lord, let my voice be burnt. No, your voice will be heard. When you come back to Cebu, give them a phone call. There is a new level of authority that I am giving to you. And the Lord is saying to you today, my son, walk in this confidence and walk in this authority. You are going to walk with the anointing of fire hanging on you. I am giving you the anointing that just like the hind feet, you are going to rise and to climb into the high places, but you are not going to be afraid of the heights because the hind feet is going to give you the balance because I, the Lord your God, is holding your two elbows to give you the balance. You are no longer going to say to me, Father God, I feel like I am not enough to overcome all of this. My son, look up to me. You and me is more than enough. And the Lord is saying to you today, I am surrounding you with angels that you haven't seen. Prepare. Because just like the experience of Elijah, you are, all, you are going to see them not only in the spirit, but also in the physical. The days of seeing in the spirit is here. I can see you to become one of those prophetic seers that God is going to raise up in Cebu. Ramakabya Sikatan.